Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do the Allure Best of Beauty for 2020 and it is all drugstore products. So let's get into it. Every year Allure picks out the best of the best beauty products or the best that they deem are the best of the year. So the first product I'm going to go in with is by Revlon. It is their Color Stay Cream Eyeshadow and it looks like this. It's a very beautiful champagne color. I think it's gonna go good, and I'm gonna use that as my base because there's no primer that they picked out for the best of the best. So I'm gonna have to work with what I have, and plus I have tons of products to go through, so I'm gonna try and slap all this shit on my face as best as I can to give you guys an idea of how well these products are doing. So let me go in with this eyeshadow, and I'm gonna swirl my brush in it, get a pretty good amount, and then I'm just gonna put it on my eye as a primer. That was really easy to put on, blends out really, really nicely. It also comes with this brush, which I kind of thought was funny. So there's this little top end right here, and it's a brush you pull out, and it looks like this. So I guess if you have absolutely nothing else to use, that's an option. Um, I kind of think it's pretty useless, but it's cute. And, you know, if you're in a pinch or something and you went traveling and you forgot all your brushes or a brush, then that would work. Maybe. I don't know. It just looks useless to me though. Next, we are gonna go in and play with this color palette and I'm not as excited about these shadows only because I use a lot of these shadows all the time. These colors, they're right up my alley. I love them, but I, I use a lot of them. So it's almost like the same old, same old. So as my transition shade, I'm gonna go in with this light color right here. Well, hopefully it's light, I don't know. I don't know how pigmented these are, so we're gonna see. That was actually really easy to blend out. I'm pretty surprised. I'm actually pretty impressed because I hate drugstore eyeshadows, most of them, because it's a it's a crapshoot. It's either gonna be really, really good or it's gonna be really, really bad and the color payoff's gonna be shit. It's gonna be chalky. I think next I'm gonna take this brown shade right here. Let's see how that one performs. These are actually blending out really nicely and the pigment is really it's really good. I'm so surprised right now. I really am. Okay, Maybelline, I see you. But because I put down this Revlon cream eyeshadow that has that shimmer in it, because I did that, everything is kind of looking a little more shimmery instead of matte on the outside. But like I said, I want to test all these products out, kind of get a feel for how good they are. So I'm just going to keep going. So next I'm going to take this shade right here, like a burgundy fall shade. These are actually really good. So now I'm gonna try the shimmer shades. I'm going with this shade right here. That one is called Fighter. And it's like kind of like a coppery, a copper kind of color. So I'm gonna go in with that. So with the flat shader brush, I'm gonna go in and see how these shimmers perform. Just with the flat shader, it the payoff was pretty good. So I'm gonna go in with my finger and see how well it applies. And of course, the payoff is way better with your finger, but with the flat shader brush is pretty good. I'm gonna try the shade Founder right here on the inner part of my of my eye. Oh, that looks pretty good. I'm actually impressed with this palette. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that, but I'm I'm just so shocked that these shadows are coming out so good. It's it's pretty it's pretty impressive. So sadly, I'm probably going to end up covering this entire shimmer look on my eyes. I'm going to have a ton of crap of product on my eyes, but it's going to be worth it. I've heard through the grapevine that this shadow right here is absolutely stunning. I can't wait to play with it. This is a glitter shadow. The only thing for me though, because I am more, I have more mature lids, I can't find a good cream shadow that doesn't crease or make it look super dry. Then I go right over everything I did. I'm going to blend out this edge right here because it kind of just stops so I don't want it to look too harsh. Wow guys, that's really fucking glittery. Well, I mean it is, it is called liquid glitter eyeshadow 
it didn't really cover up everything that I did underneath. You could still kind of see the shadows that I applied and the shimmer shadows I applied on my eyelid. It's just really glittery and it kind of gives it more of a soft color. Probably the only thing for me with this glitter, which I think is absolutely gorgeous, is that you can't really control how much glitter you're putting on. I'm kind of waiting for it to dry because... <laughs> I can feel it wet on my eyes. So you just kind of have to play with it so you can make sure that the glitter part is kind of even on both eyes because when I first first used it there was a ton of glitter on this side and like none on this side. So I had to dip back in and kind of fix it and make it look a little bit more even. I'm going to go back in with the matte shades that I used earlier and I'm going to kind of blend this this harsh line out right here. You probably can't see it but it's it's pretty harsh from the liquid eyeshadow. So one thing I am noticing that is if you go back in with any kind of shadows or kind of try and touch up a little bit, the glitter starts to fall off. I mean, it's kind of expected. You're gonna lose some glitter, but I didn't lose a lot of glitter. It's not like a ton of glitter. Next, I'm gonna use this really bright shade right here, and I'm gonna use that for my inner corner. I think that actually looks kind of nice. <laughs> These, I'm just so, I'm so surprised. I really am. So next I'm gonna go ahead and take this Hyper Easy Maybelline Pitch Black Eyeliner. Looks like this, and this is what the tip looks like. I'm gonna try it out, see how it goes on this, especially on this glitter. We'll really know how it performs on the glitter. I don't know where my camera cut off, I'm so sorry, but as you can see, I've applied the eyeliner and this is a brush tip applicator, which you know is my favorite, and it actually applied pretty nicely. I think what I really, really like about it besides the brush tip applicator is that it's pretty black and it's it's pretty matte, which is surprising because I don't have a lot of luck with matte eyeliners. They say they're matte and it comes out shiny. <laughs> so this is actually pretty good. Okay, next I'm gonna use the, the NYX Fill and Fluff. It is an eyebrow pencil and it's kinda cute. I don't know how functional it is. So it looks like this. It has kind of a triangle on top for application. The triangle top doesn't bother me, but we'll see how the application is. This is the fluff part. This is the part they're calling fluff. It is this part right here. It looks like a little toothbrush. It's, it's, I don't know how functional it is. That's the part where I'm like, I'm not really sure. I am not really sure how it's going to comb up my eyebrows, but I guess there's only one way to find out. And this is in the color Espresso. Okay, I'm back and my brows are filled. I have to say that the toothbrush end is not my cup of tea. I'd rather have a spoolie. It wasn't terrible, but it pretty much took most of the product off, probably like 50% of the product off. So, I don't know. I just like the spoolie better. I, I don't know. Now I'm going to go in with the Easy Breezy Brow Clear Setting Gel. So at least I have this to kind of comb through my, my brow hairs with. I don't really do a lot with my brows. I literally just fill them in. I try to go with my natural shape, which they're not even, but I don't care. Very rarely do I use clear setting gels. There's not a lot that are good. The only one that I like is the Benefit one, and that's, that's the only one that does not flake and get weird, you know? It just, ugh. But anyways, so we're going to try this one and see if this one has weirdness. <laughs> What I don't like about this setting gel is the spoolie. So if you look closely to that at that spoolie, there the teeth on the spoolie are very far apart, so it doesn't give you a natural fluff to your brow. And when you comb through, it kind of clumps them together. So I had to kind of adjust it as best as I could to get the look that I was going for with the, the setting gel. It also puts an a lot of product on your eyebrow uh, as you're putting it on because of how wide the teeth are far apart. I don't know if this would be the best of the best for 2020. Drugstore, it could be. I have not tried any other ones because like I said, I never have luck with them. So I'm just gonna keep moving on. Okay, so I cleaned up my under eye area. There was some fallout from the palette and the glitter so I wanted to make sure that that was all cleaned up. So next I'm going to go in with the matte primer serum and this is a shine control serum from Neutrogena. It looks like this. I It doesn't say it's going to blur your pores or anything like that but if you are oily it'll definitely control or it's supposed to. It's supposed to control the shine. It has rice protein in it which I think helps to absorb any of that excess oil on your skin. Neutrogena is a good brand. I do like Neutrogena a lot. Well let me go ahead and put this on even though 
I don't normally use mattifying products on my face just because of my age. I don't like to mattify. It seems to dry out more, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to use a couple of drops or I'm just going to squirt an entire syringe full onto my hand. Work with what I got. And I'll just put it right here on my T-zones. And this, That's where I'm shiniest. Okay, so if I had any shine, that pretty much took care of that. <laughs> so Allure didn't have a drugstore foundation that they chose to be the best of the best. They had some pretty high-end ones, Giorgio Armani, things like that, that I just didn't feel that fit this particular video. But I do have an old one that I used to love, and this is the Infallible Pro Glow. This was one of my favorite foundations when it first came out. I really liked it, so I'm going to go in. I'm going to speed right past this part since this is not really part of the Allure Best of Beauty, but I did want to put some foundation on that really always helps to complete the look. They also didn't have a concealer, so I'm going to go in with my Photo Focus Wet n Wild Concealer. Looks like that. I'm going to go ahead and put that under my eyes to kind of brighten up my under eyes. Okay, so my foundation's done, my concealer's done, so now on to more of the Allure Best of Beauty products. This is another one chosen by Allure. This is the CoverGirl Clean and Fresh. I'm usually not a fan of CoverGirl, but this packaging is actually, it's actually doesn't feel super cheap. Usually drugstores, they just, they go really cheap so that they can give you a better price and a better deal. But this wasn't bad. And so I'm going to go ahead and use this because I didn't have a loose powder. I'm going to use this to set my under eye. I'm going to just go ahead and use this little puff they give you with the product. See how well this works. This one is in the color light pale, but it is, it does not look pale to me. Okay, so I set my under eye and I set right here where my pores are at to see if it would kind of blur away. Because powders you can usually blur away and make you look a little more seamless. And it actually did a pretty good job with this little, with this little guy right here. Not bad. We'll see how it wears as I go. The next product I'm going to use is going to be a bronzer. And this is by the Lip Bar. This is actually a bronzer and a blush in one. And this is in the, sh well, there's two shades. This is the bronzer. And then below is the blush. So I think I'm going to just use the bronzer because I have two or three other blushes that I need to try. And the bronzer has a shimmer to it. I'm going to put it on lightly at first because I'm not really sure how much, how pigmented it is or, or anything. I've never tried it, but it won. <laughs> that bronzer is actually pretty. I'm impressed. I'm not sure about the CoverGirl Clean Fresh powder yet. It's very drying around my eyes. And of course, like I said, because I have more mature skin, anything that's really, really drying accentuates a lot of my fine lines and wrinkles. I do have a setting spray that will hopefully take care of some of that. And I have so many lip products because, because they're all gloss and they won. And I'm like, what? These all won Best of Beauty? I need them all. And one of them is by Flower Beauty, and I don't have anything Flower Beauty. I've not tried Flower Beauty yet. This was in the color Nectar, and it is a nude color. So I'm going to just twist it up so you can kind of see what it looks like. That's what it looks like. And I have used this um, already because I really, really wanted to try it. Sorry. So I really like this. It's really good. The only, I think the only gripe I have about this is the product, if you can see that. There's not a lot of product in there. And if I've already used like maybe a half an inch of product and I've only had it for, I've only been using it for a couple of days. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm going to go through this really, really fast. That'd be my only gripe is it just doesn't have a lot of product. So of course you're going to be buying more. That's probably their plan the whole time. I see you, Flower Beauty. I see you. So before I finish up the eyes, I was going to go in with a blush to see how these blushes worked. So this is the blush I have from Honest Beauty. The packaging is nice. It's super simple. And this is in the color Frisky. It looks really dark. It didn't look like that online, of course, because online everything looks really nice and bright and sheer and beautiful and nude. But no, this looks very dark. This also looks very dark, which is the, the ColourPop Blush Sticks. This also won Best of Beauty, and it's, this is the color. Again, super dark, but it might come out sheer. So because I've been into cream 
based products lately, especially when your skin is a little bit dry and especially since I have this mattifying primer underneath. I think I'm gonna go in with this stick, this blush stick and see how it goes on my face. I think I'll take my blush brush and then just kind of apply it that way. I'm afraid to just go in straight with the freaking stick and then it'd be too much product. That's irreversible. So let's just go in with this. Put a little bit on my brush like this and hope for the best. That's actually nice. It is it is sheer, thankfully, but it's also very pigmented, so a little bit on this brush went a long way. I'm gonna do the other cheek. Okay, I think I went a little ham on that blush. It's super pigmented, so let me just see if I can, holy, how not to look like a clown 101. So to try to diffuse this look, I'm going to use my bronzer brush and see if I can't <laughs> help, help what's happening on my cheeks. Okay, so I think this looks way more natural. It's, uh, that was a lot. So I don't think I'm gonna use this Honest Beauty because I think that if I use this Honest Beauty, it is super dark on this base ColourPop blush stick. It is gonna look like a damn clown and I can't, I just can't go out like that. But let me just, ooh, it's very soft. I'm just gonna swatch it real quick. So that's what it looks like swatch. I mean, that's not my cheek, but it looks like it blends pretty nicely. It blends to that color there. Looks like a really nice color. Too bad I already have a lot of blush on my cheeks right now. I just can't. I can't. So I have two highlighters. I have a cream highlighter. <laughs> I have a cream highlighter, and it's the CoverGirl Clean and Fresh. Looks like this. It's a little stick, and that is the color that pretty champagne color. I'm gonna go directly on my cheeks with this highlighter. <laughs> Why not? It's a very subtle highlight. I, when I first put it on, I was a little concerned, but once I blended it out, it's very, very subtle. I don't know if you can see how subtle that is. It's not a beaming from the gods highlight, which I know a lot of people really like, just more of that natural highlight. I think it looks really good, but I'm gonna go in now with the Milani Baked Highlighter, and this is in the shade Dolce Perla. It's also about the same kind of color. Except it has like an, a pink undertone to it. So no, it's not, it's not the same kind of color. It has a pink undertone to it. Not the same. So I'm gonna go right on top of that highlighter I just used. I'm actually not surprised that Milani performs so well. I like Milani, I like a lot of their products. I don't think I've tried anything Milani that I've hated or disliked. I really don't think so. But I'm gonna go back in with my blush brush that I used. I'm not adding more product. I'm just gonna blend this blush and highlighter in together. So now I'm gonna go back on my eyes and finish up the eyes. I'm gonna go in with this Breakup Proof by Wet n Wild. This is their black pencil. And I don't know if you've seen my other video. My other video, which is the Wet n Wild video, I can link it up here. That video, I tried this already and the tip broke off. And it didn't go on as nice and as smooth as I, I would have liked and as dark and pigmented as I, as I would have liked. Can I speak today? Please. So this one, Best of Beauty. I don't really know if I agree with that, but for $3, you really can't lose. I mean, you can lose, but I really, I don't think it's, I think it's definitely worth the $3. Inexpensive, it gets the job done. I think it just depends. I'm gonna go in my waterline. Do you see that? Like, I just put it in my waterline right here on the outer corner, and it's barely gray. Like, it's not dark black. It's why I don't think that it, I don't think this deserves Best of Beauty, Laura. I'm sorry, I just don't. It just, it's Best of Beauty, no. I really had to go in about 20 times under my waterline, which I don't wanna have to do that. <laughs> Maybe it's not meant for the waterline, I don't know. Yeah, no, I feel the same way. I'm, I was going kind of right under my, my lash line to see if it would not tug and it would kind of glide on, and no, it's not, it's not gliding on. It's not, I don't like it. Next, I'm gonna go and finish my lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with this dark brown color right here and put it on the outer edges of my eye. Next, I'm gonna take this shade right here, kind of smoke it out just a little bit. 
I really like smoking out my lower lash line. I really think it helps to tie your shadows together. It completes the look for me unless you're going really, really light on the top. But for heavy eye looks or glam eye looks, I really like to smoke out that lower lash line. It kind of helps to give it a little bit of something. I'm going to take off the Petal Pout by Flower Beauty since that was the first thing. I kept it, kept my my lips moisturized and plump for the next step, which is lipstick. So for lipstick, I got a few things actually. I don't, I don't know why. I'm going to have to take it off and then put it on and take it off and put it on. Anyway, this is the NYX Lip Pencil. It's in the color Natural. And I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this. I really like the color, but I'm not sure about the application itself. It was not as soft and as glidey as I was hoping it was going to be. But, I mean, while I'm judging these products, I'm judging them on the best of the best for drugstore. And I just, I don't know. I think the color is great. I think it, it, it's a very natural color, and that's what I picked. That's what I like just didn't go on as smooth as I would have hoped for, for something to be best of that best, best, best Allure Beauty. So the next thing I got was the Maybelline Ink Crayon. There's a lot of Maybelline up in this. Just saying, lot of Maybelline. So good for them. This is their Superstay Ink Crayon. And it has a, like a little sharpener at the bottom. Right on the bottom, which I do like. Let's see how this applies. Oh, that applies so much nicer. This lip crayon, no tugging at all whatsoever, went on and glided on my lips really nicely. You could use this as a lip liner. I think that would just work just fine. But the NYX one, it tugged a little bit and it was a little bit more on the harsh side. So I don't know. I don't know how to about that. So another Maybelline product and this is a lipstick, but it's so dark. Like this is not this. It didn't look like that online. I didn't get the red color because it was obviously not going to go with this look. This one is called Spice For Me. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on anyway. I can take it off later. The one thing I can say about the Maybelline lipsticks are they always go on so nice. And it's very moisturizing. It doesn't feel drying at all whatsoever. The next thing I'm going to go in with is, is the Essence Lip Gloss. And it's the Shine 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 Wet Look. This is what it looks like. And it's just clear. I always wipe off the applicator tip when you're using a gloss over your lipstick because you don't want that to go back into your clear gloss and start tainting it. I like it. It's not sticky. It looks great. It looks glossy. I like that. Okay. So I got the same lip gloss in another color, but I'm not going to I'm not going to put it on cuz I think what I have on is a lot already. I have like way too much on. This is what it looks like. It's this really nice taupe color. It looks nice. I just, uh, I want to use it, but I'm going to go ahead and swatch it instead. Ooh. I can't wait to use this. I'm excited to use that, but I'm not going to use it for this look. So now I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Lumi uh, Shake and Glow Dew Mist. It looks like this. I'm all about dew, but I'm not about looking like I dipped my face in oil. So I'm going to apply this to my beauty sponge, and it's the Wet n Wild, so I'm using everything drugstore as much as I can. So it's my Wet n Wild, and this is of course damp. I always use any beauty sponges damp. I'm going to use this for my under eye. The mist is very nice. God, I feel like I have a ton shit of makeup on. Holy crap. So much. You can say hello. So I thought this had glitter particles or something because usually when it says Lumi Shake and Glow it has some kind of like glitter in there and I don't see any at all and I sprayed it on my sponge and I applied it on my face and it looked fine so I'm just going to go straight in and see how, see how um, luminous this is. It does give me a dewy finish but not an oily finish so I think I actually like that. I don't know what the staying power is to help if it helps you know your makeup stay on all day or whatnot but so now that I've set my face, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift. So you know I like the Falsies Mascara by Maybelline and it has like the fibers in it built in already. Well this one is the Falsies Lash Lift. It looks like this. So we'll see how it works. I don't have any lashes. <laughs> but what I do have, I will try to lift and volumize 
this is what the brush applicator looks like. The formula is really nice. I do like it, but like I said, it's really hard to tell on me. I can see that it has lifted my lashes and has lengthened them just like a smidge. <laughs> But I know it's hard for you guys to see because my lashes are very, very minimal. I don't have a lot of lashes. That's why I do my eyeliner a little more exaggerated because I don't have any lashes. I don't have those beautiful, fluffy lashes. And I don't have any fake lashes to put on um, that was in the Best of Beauty. I really liked how the makeup came out. I like the eyeshadow. I think the eyeshadow is great. I think that if you don't have the Nudes palette and this is something you've been eyeballing, then I would definitely pick this up this is a good one okay guys I think I used everything and I pretty much enjoyed most of it I really like this this lip gloss this is the first thing I saw because I love glosses and it's not sticky at all I really like the gloss this bronzer turned out to be something I actually enjoyed the one by the lip bar I wouldn't say it's cheap but you get a two for one so you do get a blush and you do get the bronzer and you get a little brush on the inside there that looks like this is your little brush useless probably but at least you get a little something extra with it and look at the packaging it's really nice I, I like the lip bars packaging if you're gonna go out and buy any of these items I would definitely invest in the the petal pout by flower beauty I really liked the Maybelline hyper easy eyeliner honestly there's a lot of high-end eyeliners that suck this actually is probably better than a lot of those eyeliners that you spend like almost $30 for. And this is what, probably like $10? I'm not really sure. <laughs> but I'll link it. The Milani Baked Highlighter, of course. I think this is a win if you really like a nice highlight. This is gorgeous. I really enjoyed this. I would definitely pick that up. So the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Cooling Glow Stick. This guy right here. It went on nice and I did feel a cooling sensation. I don't know if a lot of people don't like that so if you don't like that then I definitely would pass on this but it went on very nice and it was easy to blend out like I said it wasn't like a beaming highlight it's more of a natural highlight the NYX fill and fluff it was very soft going on I could probably pass on this it, it's a it's a nice brow product I actually think the wet n wild one was nicer the Neutrogena matte primer I think that if you have any oil issues or you need to control some of the oils on your face that would be a definite try the covergirl easy breezy brow I... so because of this tip applicator on this covergirl brow gel if you can see it's very far apart compared to like normal spoolies so the product went on kind of thick it didn't keep my brows up and in place and continuously looking feathery and pretty if you guys know of a brow gel that is a drugstore brand that is as good as the benefit, let me know because I really, really have a hard time finding one that doesn't flake off and look like white, like white crusties all over your eyebrow or that stays in place for that matter. The ColourPop blush sticks. If you like cream products, then I think you will like the blush sticks. Like when you put it on, it is pigmented as you saw earlier. I had to kind of blend that out with something else. But uh, I don't know if it's the best of the best for me. I'm probably spoiled by higher end products and that's why. But I'm trying to keep a open mind about this. The ColourPop shadow, I think that it just... I had a hard time blending it out or sharing it out. Maybe it was just too pigmented for me. So if you really like a lot of pigment in your blush, then I think this you would you would enjoy it. The Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow. I really like these. These are so nice. I It went on very easy and it blended out very easy and my makeup is still in place. So I used it as a primer and a, and a base and it looks it still looks really, really good. So this is in the color Flirty Birdie and this is the Glitter Eyeshadow by e.l.f. For a few dollars, this is an amazing glitter eyeshadow. I would definitely pick this up. The Lumi Dew Mist. I think is also a great product. I do like it. I didn't really like how it smelled, but I mean, we're not we're not going for smell. We're going for quality, right? <laughs> but I do like a lot of products by L'Oreal, hence the Infallible Pro Glow by L'Oreal. Okay, guys, sorry, my battery died. <laughs> so I couldn't finish this out, and I don't even know what I was saying anymore. I kind of remember, but I really don't. And I also took my lipstick off to try on this gloss, and I love it. I think it looks 
so pretty. I used to look at Allure Best of Beauty. I, look, I used to look for that stamp on any makeup that I would want to buy, especially drugstore makeup. I looked for that seal. I'm pretty sure that everybody else does the same thing because you think this has got to be good, right? Because they put their, their stamp on it. It's got to be freaking awesome. I think after going through all of these products, not everything is super awesome. But I think most of the things are pretty damn good, and especially for the drugstore. It's so funny because I was supposed to do this particular video last week, but my shipment didn't come in and I bought everything from Ulta and I guess it got shipped to the wrong address. So of course Ulta was gracious enough to resend all my products, which I'm super thankful for because I spent a lot of money on these products so I can review them for you. And now all I can think of is who has all my stuff like who is going through this and saying what crazy person is ordering this much freaking makeup what the hell I hope they enjoy it I, I really do I hope they needed it for someone who was maybe sad and upset and that kind of brightened their day <laughs> who wouldn't be totally freaking happy to open a box full of Ulta freaking makeup like just boom I would be excited if you're wondering why I always wear a bun I feel like I always wear a bun or a ponytail it's because I work before I film these, so I put my hair up, get it out of my face in the morning, it starts my day, and so when I come to film, I don't do anything else with it. I leave it in a bun. I could, you know, just take it down. Every, I'll try to, I'll, I'll try to do something different with my hair. In the description box below, I will go ahead and list the beauty products that I thought deserved the Allure Best of Beauty stamp. And I will also add the ones I thought were complete fails. So hopefully that will help you if you're looking for any of these products or were thinking about getting any of these products. So I'm going to wrap up this video, guys. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate every single one of you. And stay tuned for my video next week. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell and give this video a thumbs up. I will talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a... So now I'm going to go in with a... So now I'm going to go in with a... What the fuck? <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in with a, oh my God, I cannot get it out. I always wipe the tip off. <laughs> the eyeliner was a win for me. I really liked this eyeliner, which is the Hyper Easy eyeliner, the liquid eyeliner with the, how many times am I say eyeliner? I'm hungry, I'm so hungry.